The year 2022 saw an expected increase in cyber attacks across all industries, though the scale and sophistication of these attacks varied across the world. However, it was reported that most countries could see a rise in cyber attacks within their key critical infrastructure sectors because of the vital role it plays in the lives of the citizens within that country. Hello and welcome to VAR India News R. The National Critical Information Infrastructure Protection Centre in India, an organisation of the Government of India designated as the National Nodal Agency in respect of critical information infrastructure protection, has identified the following as critical sectors power and energy, banking, financial services and industries, telecom, transport, government and strategic and public enterprises. All of these which provide services that are essential to the day-to-day -day functioning of society are hives of the most sensitive and confidential data that threat actors can easily be monetized on the dark web, driving further cybercrime and disruption. Unfortunately, the potential for widespread disruption has not gone unnoticed by cybercriminals. In India, close to seven critical infrastructure attacks have wreaked havoc for those within that industry, from the Oil India Limited ransomware attack in April and in May on grounded spice jet flights, leaving passengers stranded for four hours, to Goa's flood monitoring system in June and banking data breaches reported in August, to the more recent cyber attacks on the AIMS healthcare sector and resulting onslaught on Subdurjung Hospital in New Delhi, have left authorities understanding the need to prepare for an escalation in cyber attacks in future. This focus on critical infrastructure is intentional. Cyber criminals are fully aware of the impact that any disruption has on vital services, not just financially but also on public confidence. For example, in utilities, you cannot expect people to be without electricity or water, which means companies are more likely to pay in the event of ransomware. Hackers are also very observant and will strike during periods of unrest. For example, using the ongoing energy crisis as an entry point for phishing or man-in-the-middle attacks. Another common risk factor among critical infrastructure organizations is that they all have a high level of interconnected legacy tech. This could include old devices that may not be used every day but are still active or a machine that is critical to business processes but can only operate on older software that can't be patched. We can't deny the fact that increased connectivity is the problem. This problem has been exacerbated by the introduction of IoT devices which are incredibly complex to manage and are rarely built with security in mind. As companies collect more data and expand their network infrastructures, the more attractive they become to hackers and the harder it is to defend against threats. The threat level continues to grow and the consequences only become more severe we have seen for ourselves here in India. Now is the time to take action and prevention should be at the heart of every step they take to better secure themselves. Let us now look into today's headlines in VAR India. Hacker George Hodds resigns from Twitter. After only four weeks into his 12-week internship, software engineer and security researcher George Hodds has resigned from Twitter. He joined a month ago as an intern to help Twitter's new owner Elon Musk overhaul the social media service. The resignation comes after Musk's abruptly rolling out and then sometimes reversing controversial changes at Twitter, causing some users and advertisers to leave. DOT forms task forces to boost domestic telecom manufacturing. The Department of Telecom has formed four task forces to recommend government measures that will boost the domestic telecom manufacturing system. Under one of the task forces, the DOT has sought recommendation for a phased manufacturing program for telecom gear manufacturing to boost domestic component supply chain ecosystem as well as attract global players. Tata Communications to acquire Switch Enterprises Telco player Tata Communications Dutch Arm has entered into an agreement to fully acquire US-based media service provider Switch Enterprises for a cash consideration of $58.8 million. The acquisitions will provide direct upsell opportunities for Tata Communications' offerings, which will drive expansion of its Video Connect business as well as its presence in Europe and North America. RIL unit acquires 23% stake in Exim Technologies. 
Reliance Industries' wholly owned subsidiary Reliance Strategic Business Ventures Limited has acquired a 23.3% stake in United States based Exin Technologies INC for $25 million. The deal will accelerate Exin's product and technology development and commercialization across multiple application areas. The acquisition of stake will have Reliance's investments and strategic initiatives in the areas of drones, industrial safety and security, and robotics. Phone Pay completely separates from Flipkart. Walmart backed Flipkart has completed full ownership separation of Phone Pay as it is looking to raise its largest ever funding round, making it the most valued fintech startup in India. As part of this transaction, existing Flipkart Singapore and PhonePay Singapore shareholders, led by Walmart, have purchased shares directly in PhonePay India. This also completes the move to make PhonePay a fully India domiciled company. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to Var India News Magazine. You can download the Var India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for the latest news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh,